A few episodes back, you might remember that me and two friends cycled all the way through Europe. We got a ferry to Amsterdam and then rode through France and Belgium and the Netherlands and then got to Switzerland, did some mountain biking, and on the way, we went to the UCI headquarters. We got invited to go by a guy called Zach who works there. Can I ride a bike backwards? No. You can. Does UCI? Yeah. UCI? What does the UCI say? Yeah. No. UCI says no. Zach is the UCI. He's basically the nicest man in the world. He gave us a tour, a look inside the velodrome, and also a present. Something quite special. A new World Champs jersey with quite a few different autographs on it. One of them, Evie Richards, amazing cross-country mountain biker. And this one here, yesterday, was yellow jersey in the Tour de France, Wout van Aert. But Zach didn't know, and I don't know, who the other signatures are. So, I need your help. This one here, definitely Evie Richards. This one here, definitely Wout van Aert. I checked that on Google. The others, I can't decipher. So, you are all cycling fans. If anybody recognizes this, this, or this, please put it in the comment section down below. That's one, two, and three. Anyway, that was a really cool experience going to see Zach and the UCI. And um, yeah, we'll just thank you so much for this. It will be uh, framed. I need to find someone who frames stuff nicely and put up in the studio soon, almost two o'clock. And I'm only just starting today's video. Today's video is a vlog and I'm gonna go cycling, just for a change. I've got a fair few new viewers on this channel and uh, the new viewers, won't know Tony. This is Tony. He works for Scott and he's very fast on a bike. As apparently everybody, there's a reputation for people who work for Scott being fast on bikes, I was being told. Very, very fast at the factory. you just been where I was. I was there just as you were leaving. I think it was like an exchange, wasn't it? I had a splendid time. Went on two rides and I had a splendid day at the beach on Lake Geneva. I only had my underpants to go swimming in, so I did the classic British thing and there. Uh, went to the swimming pool in my underpants. Against all odds, Tony did eventually make it home. So now we're going mountain biking, which is good. My bikes haven't got home yet. I've only got off-road bikes left. Hence the decision. So we're going to Hamsterdam. Whoa! <laughs> Do you want the Allen key? <laughs> I have to admit, Tony, riding bikes, first time since Switzerland, feels good when we're going downhill, but it feels really <laughs> going uphill. Look at that. Where are these flies coming from? Flies are attracted to the GoPro. A couple of trails done, feeling really good on the bike. Always takes me a while to warm up, but everything here at Hampstead looks, since riding in Verbier, with the lifts and the steep descents, everything looks a lot smaller and less steep, which is good. Only problem is, we are being attacked by flies. So things could be better. They're not following you. They've blown them from me to you. My gift to you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. My gift to you is a Red Bull. Nice. Of a weird flavor. Oh, the flies are back, what the f Hey, Tony, do you remember last time we came here? You got a puncher, just like you have now. And then we pointed out how it might look like we know what we're doing on bikes, but really it's just an illusion because we didn't even bring a pump. Today, I actually have a pump. I listened to my, I watched my own video. Done well there. Thank you. That's not gonna work. I put it on the wrong end. This goes against everything you do, but I've sliced the tire armor every time I come out with you. Dense the shit, done it. It's a good job you've got one of them little light inner tubes in your pocket. <laughs> you know, it's the same one as you used last time. It's literally the same tube. Well and he came back to my house, yeah. gave it back to me. All rolled up nice and neat. You're very thoughtful, Tony. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, not except, really. except we're not really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good that, isn't it? And only 25 quid. I know, bargain, twice the price. So 
my, for people who don't know, this is my Scott Spark RC. This is 120 mil of travel, so quite a lot for a cross country bike. It could almost be considered trail bike geometry. And I've got it set up today in what I like to call trail bike mode. So bigger tires. These are Hutchinson prototype tires. They don't actually say anything on the side, but mega knobbly. 2.3 inch, so a little bit wider than the cross country tires that I've been running. And I'm using a set of elite wheels, 29er carbon mountain bike wheels, who are a Chinese brand. And they actually gave these to me to test. If you want to check them out, there'll be a link in the description down below. Not an affiliate link or anything, but uh, just in case you were interested, I'll be trying them out for the next few weeks. And it's nice to have a second set of wheels, particularly if you have a mountain bike like this. And today, because I'm riding with Tony and he's really tired, don't need to be super fast, so. But it's nice to have options, particularly as mountain bike gear takes a bit of a beating sometimes, so spare wheels, nice to have. So far, they have been excellent. Easy to set up tubeless, went up straight away. What do you think? They look very round. Yeah, they're round, super round. Super most, round. Most round I've ever seen a wheel. Can you substantiate that? I'll put an image here of how, how round they are. These are the ones with the sapim spokes. The stock hubs that they come with, the cheaper option. These hubs are actually compatible with a star ratchet, so if you want a slight increase in reliability, then you can switch that out. Why did I choose to do all that bit, like, right. while riding up the... Well, I should have done it down the trail, way easier. Like motorbike tyres then. Extra roll and resistance, which means you're getting a harder workout. There you go. Which is Selling point for these Hutchinson tyres. What do they actually say on them? SC173. You work for a bike company? Yeah, well, if I was going to call, if I was going to put SC on a tyre, it would be soft compound. Then the French, they might not, do, it's, it's soft, soft. Seriously cool. Sousant. Saucy. It's a soft saucy song. song. It's a soft <laughs> song. <laughs> Best trail here. Yeah. That's the best one. I think that's called section 13. Tony used to have the KOM on that. Like a long, long time ago. Back before people actually had garments. And oh, stuff. oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Also had it on the rails before like all the pros raced up, like got garments and things. So I think I was one of the, the early adopters of a GPS Garmin on, on bike all times. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't think I've ever had the apricot and strawberry variety. I don't think anyone has. Well, uh, some people have. Somebody will have. People who work for Red Bull. I've got women's shorts on. Have you? Yeah. Nice, like they, these look, aren't. they look good. Underneath here they are. Oh, underneath. Which is equivalent to wearing women's knickers, isn't it? And if I'd come in and said to you there. Not exactly. Francis, I've got women's panties on. It would be slightly weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, neither would I. Oh, no.